Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading view with over 190k reputation points. In this tutorial, I will be speaking about automated trading strategies. So do I believe in automated trading? Because everyone wants to make money while they sleep, right? That is a dream for everyone. So is that possible? Second, how to develop automated trading strategies? Do, that, do I use myself automated trading strategies? Do I know how to develop trading robots and actually use them to trade? And which are my tips and tricks in order for you to automate your trading strategies? So in this tutorial, I will be covering all these topics and answering these three major questions. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video because this is definitely a video that you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Okay, so first of all, I don't want you to waste any time. So immediately, I will be giving you the answer to these three major questions. So first of all, yes, I do believe in automated trading. And in fact, I believe that automated trading is the future. Second, yes, I definitely have been developing for quite some time automated trading strategies. I use them for my own trading. So I have a more than one robot that I have created that trades automatically for me. And third of all, Absolutely. In this video, I will be giving you some quite interesting tips and tricks in order to automate your trading as well. Now, when it comes to developing an automated trading strategy, and I will now show you in action one of my own trading robots, specifically the one that I have for swing trading, which I like to call the V1 a swinger. That is obviously because it is swing trading, a swing trading robot. I also have a day trading one. And Basically, when it comes to developing something like this, the first thing you have to decide is go on a chart and try to identify what you want your robot to actually exploit, right? So what kind of movements in the market are you looking to trade and which ones are the movements in the market that your robot is supposed to exploit? So for example, when it comes to developing the robot that I have, that I will now show you in this tutorial, so we will see it in action, how it trades automatically for us. What I will, what I did is essentially go and scan the market. And I, I needed to find a pair that was a, moving in a way that would let me develop a kind of strategy that was suited for that particular pair and for the concept that I had in mind. So in my case, I wanted to find a pair that had a lot of swings, right? A pair that from a four hour perspective, Okay, so on the four hour time frame, had a lot of swings. Because when you're swing trading, the more the pair has swings, the more opportunities you have. Because every time that you have a swing like this, if you're looking to develop a robot that exploits this kind of swings, so it looks to sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, something like this is more effective if the pair is moving in that particular way. And there is no secret that in the market, certain pairs like to move in more if, let's say swinging and other pairs like to just follow a straight trend. Other pairs like to range more, like for example, Euro CHF or Euro GBP. So every pair will have your, its particular style. Okay. Every pair will move in its particular way and it, certain trading strategies work better on certain pairs and exploit certain types of movements in the market. Other strategies are better for other movements in the market. Now, this particular robot here, looks to trade and exploit pairs that have particularly a uh, swinging behavior. Okay, for example, EuroCAD, NCDCHF. And uh, yeah, let's take EuroCAD and NCDCHF as an example for this particular robot, because uh, there are also other pairs on which this robot works very well. But these are the ones that I was focusing on when I was developing it. So essentially the ones that I was looking to optimize the algorithm and a code that I was writing essentially for this particular strategy on these pairs. So then also other pairs that work and move similarly to this one, 
the robot works very well on them as well. But anyway, I was focusing on this one. So before I start giving you more of my tips on how to develop an algorithm, and if you do know how to code, that is something that we will be speaking about also later on. First, let's go and see my robot in action, right? So you can see that it is actually possible to have robots that work and that trade automatically for you. So you can just sit back, relax, and let the code do everything for you. This is possible to develop something like this. It's not easy by any way. You need to have a lot of experience. You need to know what you're doing, but it is definitely possible, okay? And I want to show you in this tutorial that it is possible by showing you one of my robots in action. So let's get right to our MT4 a strategy tester and see my a algorithm in action. So here we are on our MT4 terminal. First of all, let's close everything and take our strategy tester out. Perfect. As you can see, V1 Swinger is actually already selected. It, let's start from NCDCHF. Absolutely. This is one of the pairs, as I said previously, on which I have it developed and optimized this algorithm to run on. And let's take as a reference simply, let's just take the last 10 years since they're already selected from 2013 to 2023. Now, this algorithm, as I was explaining, is actually designed to run on the four hour time frame to so take advantage of trading opportunities on the four hour time frame. It obviously, there is no specific recommendation that I have on which time frame is best. In fact, I also have an algorithm that runs on the one hour, it oh, sorry, on the one minute a time frame. So it pretty much depends what you are looking to exploit. So if you found something that keeps happening over and over in the market and you want to develop an algorithm for that, it you will have to decide which time frame is the best one for that particular situation to happen and to take advantage of that. So this one here simply was developed on the four hour time frame. So let's select the four hour time frame. If, when it comes to the visual mode, I will put the visual mode just to show you the first order, but obviously I don't want you to reverse and engineer my strategy. In fact, once you have developed, if, if you develop an algorithm of your own, a training robot of your own. I don't suggest you just start posting it everywhere on the internet because I suggest that you protect your algorithm and only decide to actually share it with who you want. So it, obviously I will, I will just keep it on visual mode activated for the first order just to show you that it is, it is actually automating your trading, so trading automatically for you, but then I will restart without the visual mode activated. So let's it started here, as you can see, already launched the chart. And just now it's using the one minute time frame, taking all the historical data, ordering it, building the chart. And now it will start to test the algorithm on these last 10 years of price action. So let's see here, as you can see, already sold it the first one for us. So it is automatically trading for us. Let's close the chart and I will uh, start it here again without the visual mode. And as soon as this starts and we start to see the first trades coming through, we will go on the graph and uh, if the video will just start fast forwarding. So as you can see, we're already uh, almost at 50 trades executed, a, a bit of a drawdown already recovered. Now we'll, uh, we are almost at 100 trades, as you can see here. We already had already almost 60,000, 70,000 pro, uh, USD profit, 90,000 USD profit. So this will definitely take some time. In fact, uh, at the moment, probably just around uh, 100 trades. Now I will ask my editor just from here, please just fast forward. Okay, so definitely it took some time. However, now it's finished. In the meantime, I was eating this organic chips made from lentils, which by the way, it were very disgusting. So I'm very happy that it's that it's over. So let's go and see how the algorithm performed. So let's go to the report. What we can see here is that it made around $604,000 in a profit in this test. Now the modeling quality of the data was very, very good. In fact, a this broker from which I have downloaded the price action data has quite good uh, data. It's around 90% modeling quality, so quite good. The relative, uh, relative drawdown was uh, 42%, so perfectly fine. 
and it essentially made 6x, so quite good, right? And this was swing trading right on the four hour time frame. Now, if you have, if you're able to develop an algorithm like this, you can just let it run for you and it does all the trading for you, right? It calculates the risk, identifies opportunities, manages your trade, trades, it does everything for you. In fact, this algorithm here is almost 400 lines of code. Obviously, I will not show you all my code, but you can see here, it's a lot of code. This is line 201 and it keeps going. Obviously, I will not show you uh, the actual strategy that it's behind it and what I have coded into it. Now, if you know nothing about um, how to code on MQL4, it's actually a quite simple language, right? And you can learn it quite easily. Simple trading robots, you can learn them quite easily. I do have in my mentorship program, a complete section all on trading automation in which I teach you how to code and develop expert advisors using the MQL4 language. It, you find a lot of information also about it online. So um, another question that I get often is, should you code in MQL4 or MQL5? Well, if you're trading just Forex, it's perfectly fine to just be trading in MQL4 because MQL5 is better just because it gives you access, for example, also to crypto and other stuff. But if you're trading just Forex when it comes to trading robots, then MQL4 is perfectly fine. Actually, it's even faster for some particular things and better for some particular things because it is a bit more specific. Now, which are other tips uh, that I have for you when it comes to develop a trading robot once that once you have learned the actual uh, coding skills that you need to try to implement a trading strategy. And by the way, before I forget and before we get onto the charts so I can give you this more tricks, it, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel so you never miss new updates. The link is both in description and here on the chart. Back to the charts. So the first thing, what if you don't want to join the mentorship program and have my organized course that goes step by step on how to learn programming? What, you, what if you want to learn completely for free how uh, MQL4 works and how can you start uh, coding in it? Well, MetaQuotes, so the company behind MT4 and MT5, does have a quite comprehensive a documentation section here on their website, so docsmql4.com. You go here in documentation and you will see that there are a lot of explanations on all the different functions and everything that you have in the MQL4 language. For example, what about the simplest thing? Well, how about sending in order? Okay, well, you can go here in, in trade functions, exactly here, and there is the order send function here. These are all the uh, different kind of uh, trade functions that are already available to you in the MQL4 language. You can go here in order send and there's a complete explanation on how to use the order send function and what are all the parameters that you have to uh, input in it. And there is also the example on how to implement that, uh, that in your code. Okay, so how to actually send the order in the MQL4. So it's very complicated to learn directly from documentation without any course and anything else. In fact, uh, my, myself, I have not learned completely on my own, actually, uh, because it's very, very difficult, especially if you have never coded before, to just learn all by yourself from the uh, documentation, but it is definitely possible. So I wanted to share this uh, with you. There is a quite comprehensive guide and you can start learning some basics from here. Now, when it comes to developing a, a training robot, Apart from the first thing that I have explained previously of identifying what specific situation your bot is going to exploit, also deciding the pair and the time frame, the other thing you have to de decide is what kind of a, what kind of risk management is your training robot going going to use, and also depending on which time frame your robot is going to trade on, you will have different problems. For example. Now, I haven't spoken much about the uh, spread here when it comes to the inputs and I just use spread current. But when you go lower on the time frame, so if you have a bot, for example, that trades on the one hour time frame, like I have uh, another one, you have to pay really close attention to the spreads because even a small increase in spread is going to change a lot your results. 
Uh, so that is a quite important thing to keep in mind. So you will have to pay close attention to that specific parameter. So every different kind of strategy pair and um, even only just the time frame that you're using will change a lot of parameters. So it's not easy to, that's why I say it's not easy to just learn, start randomly testing things out. You won't go anywhere. You need to have a plan. You need to know exactly what you're doing. Now, if you want more detailed videos in which I go in more detail about MQL4, let me know in the comments below and I will go more in detail. This was just a video to answer those three major questions. Is it possible? Do I do it? And which are some uh, broad guidelines and tips on automated algorithmic trading? And I do hope that you enjoyed this introduction on automated trading. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked both in description and on the main page of my YouTube channel here. You have the possibility to gain access to the most complete, all-inclusive mentorship program that I have created for you. As soon as you open the website, you will see this video breaking down everything included in the mentorship program. And in the program, you have the possibility to gain access to all my courses and also to the software, so the COT data software, which is exactly the one that we used in this analysis, the training station software with Telegram signals integration, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. You also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, so you will have my personal contact. And if you do continue to scroll down on the website, you will see that directly from the website, you will have the possibility to register and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the registration process. So at least I suggest that you go and check it out right now. The link is both in description and in the main page of my YouTube channel, and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and also let me know in the comments below any new pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.